so excited to finally introduce sound to you guys. Um, as you guys know, I was given the opportunity to bring sound to life as a prototype. Um, she's a work in progress because simply because I have not rooted her. Um, I will be honest, I'll probably do very, very light eyelashes. I don't think I'll do eyebrows on her because I just love how freshly born she looks. And a lot of times when we look at like very, very freshly born babies, and I know for me personally, my kids did have very thick eyebrows from birth because they were hairy. I mean, their hair connected. You couldn't tell where their hairline stopped. <laughs> so, um, so I, I get that. I'm not going to dispute that with any of you guys, but I just love the look of her right now. And so that's all she's going to get initially. And then if I'll see how that goes. And then I'll go back and, and see what I want to do for everything else. But, um, this baby was sculpted by Kathy Romero Biscotti and Kathy is fairly new to sculpting. Um, she's been working really hard. She's, you know, just, you know, trying to um, up her game with sculpting. Um, her and Jennifer both are taking, you know, every step to, you know, become better. Um, so anyway, I am, I'm just really excited about this baby because as you guys know this make baby number two that's out of the norm for me and so and she's a crier as you guys can tell she is a crier and so um it's not the the exact like oh serene soft you know cute little baby this is this screaming upset mommy i need a bottle mommy i'm constipated mommy mommy just pick me up i just want to be held because i'm spoiled rotten mommy i just came out <laughs> my head was too big for that birth canal it, all of that whatever you want to want to imagine why she's crying um so i personally have been thinking of a name for her but for right now we're just gonna call her sound and again you can find her on Silicon Studio website at Silicon Studio the number two dot com. Um, I think the cuddle heads are like two hundred and thirty dollars, which is really good. Um, you guys would have seen already like the detail of the blank sculpt. So if you have not looked at that, go back and check that out to see where she's came from um, and to where she is now. And so, um, what's you know, without further ado, let's not let's not hold it up and let's let's show her. So she is newborn size and she's on a Reggie Ann's body and I absolutely love her on this body and I love how I weighted her on this body as well because I did um you know take a little bit out of the, the midsection and so she I mean it's just like the perfect perfect size for her. Um so without further ado there is sound so i am going to get over here and turn her around but i want to zoom in a bit so you guys can see her a little bit more with her details um sometimes it is a little bit harder to be able to see you know so i am going to zoom out just a little bit so i can get over here so we might lose some lighting for a little bit maybe not let me see if i can get the lighting over here and i can um, i just don't want to i don't want to get in the way of the lighting but i want to move her so you guys can can see more of her because i noticed that in some of my photos you really can't see so I'm going to tell you guys something special about this baby that happened and it's it's special but I didn't notice until the end and I almost like wanted to cry and I was like oh I'm gonna I, I was gonna try to go in and fix it but I don't even know how it happened 
but it actually is so cool though when i thought about it i said oh my god she like it looks like she has a permanent tear running down her face so women you know when you put on makeup and you have that streak running down your face okay so this happened and i don't know how it happened but wait i don't know if you can you see it so right here so <laughs> There you go. So, in person, it's not that obvious, but when you do look at it, it's just like, oh, she's been crying. That's what it looks like. So, pretty cool. I'm going to take you guys off the tripod so that you guys can get a better look at her. So, this is her little tongue, like I told you guys. Hold on. It's her little tongue, and like I said, it, it comes up. And I did give her tears. I don't know if you guys can see. Hold on. So she does have like tears coming out her eyes. Let's see if, that's, if it'll focus the show. Yeah, you see them? <laughs> so, and I gave her, of course, the baby rashy look. And she's baby scratch. Yeah. So I'll tell you another funny thing that was happening when I was painting her. She, um, I was painting in her nose, and some of the the paint started to run a little bit, and it was red. And I was like, "Oh my gosh, she's crying so much. Her nose is bleeding." And so <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god, good thing I don't do alternative babies." But I was thinking about that saying, I don't know if you, your parents said this to you guys growing up, but I know I heard it. Don't judge me. Don't judge my mommy. But she was like, I don't care if you cry blood. And so, so I was like, oh my God, she's crying blood. But then I was like, okay, how she's crying blood and it's coming out her nose. But anyway, nevertheless, that's what it made me think of that saying. It's like, um, unless you're crying blood, you're not getting it. Um, another thing is, like, she has veining on her head, too, and it doesn't show much in uh, pictures. I don't know if I can see it from my end, but I don't know once I upload it if the quality of the upload will erase it. And so she has a really nice head shape. Let me show you guys. And I love that for her. Oh, I have something. Anyway. But yeah, she has a, a really nice head shape. And of course, I, I wanted to make sure it was good and nice and modeled because... Um, I know she, she's going to be bald for a little bit. And I didn't plan on giving her... A lot of hair when I do give her hair I don't plan on her having a lot of hair because I just don't see her as being a baby with a lot of hair but who knows we'll see how how it turns out when she gets to rooting right now you guys already know I said in every video that I've done so far I'm still working on that bubbles and that blonde hair but we getting close I think I'm gonna be finished this week for sure if I don't, that mean I did something else and stopped working. Well, otherwise, I should be done with her. But anyway. Oh, and the other thing is, is when I went out, every time I was like painting her, like, oh, I hate showing my little ugly hands. I should wear gloves when I'm um doing these vid videos. But um, as I was painting her, like, you know, you, you, you're moving the pain and stuff like that but her her um her mouth kept like moving and so it was like it was looking like she was like really moving I don't know it, it just the whole experience with this baby was so cool um and it's funny because I slept <laughs> I slept good but I am almost embarrassed to say that I kind of didn't sleep as good because I almost wanted to come check on her and then I almost wanted to put her in 
the room with me because I was like, she's crying. We need to make sure she's okay. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, I know it's overexposed right now. I was like, okay. And guys, if you look at my pictures, um, it's not that I'm trying to do it. It just happens sometimes. But you guys that have these hospital hats know that this is a darker pink. You also know that, well, you might not know, but my letters on my on this shirt is darker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this back a little bit. And as I move the light back a little bit, you can see more of her color comes in. And when I get closer, so you can see she has a little bit more color. So, so when I get closer, you can see more of her color a little bit. Um, she has light mottling on her forehead. So it's like a little rosy, just a little bit. But with her crying, like mostly her blood flow is up at and in her little ears <laughs> ears Tupa, she's so upset but anyway I just thought I would pop in and show you guys remember her sculpt name is Sound the sculptor name is Kathy Romero Biscuitti and where you can get your own blank kit from is SiliconStudio2.com now, I am pretty sure if you're going to the doll show um, next month, Kathy will have one there. So, she's actually painting one herself. And I think it's a Caucasian version. And so, she's going to, um, she's going to have that one there to the show. So, you can at least go by and see. Even if this is not your cup of tea. Just go go stop by there and see it anyway because <laughs> they're just fun to look at. Even you know, even if it's not your cup of tea, I am I am usually not big on very expressive babies, but I've been collecting for so long and it's like, come on, what else haven't I collected? So for me, this is like. Yes, <laughs> like I need this in my in my collection because I need I need variety. I want you know different things now, so I love it. And I know it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, so yeah. Um, and guys, you know, well we'll talk about that later. <laughs> you, know, you know me, here I go trying to start the preaching. But anyway, um, so that is her. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to end this now so that I can include some, some photos that I just took of her not too long ago. So you guys can see her. But also guys, um, tell me in the comment section, what would you name her if she was your child? And if she she cry all the time. Um, I, out of all of my kids, so one out of five, I had one that was a crier. And she cried whether she was full, dry. It didn't matter. She was just a crier. She would just scream and holler for everything. And then as she got older, if you tell her no, she would fall out and she would scream. And that's the firstborn. Um, so, <laughs> so, and her name is Lily. So, well, her nickname is Lily. So, um, I don't know. You guys let me know what you would name her. Oh, and also let me know in the comment section what color hair you would like to see her with. I was thinking giving her, of giving her red hair originally, but now I'm thinking more of going with darker hair. So, and then I thought about a blend, but mm, I'm still, I'm, I'm leaning more towards darker hair now. Alright guys, that is it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.